All right, Salika. Luis Juan, how you doing? Introduce yourself. My name is Nadia. I'm a Leah's niece. How old are you? 24. What do you do for a living? I'm a hairstylist. Do you work for yourself or you work for someone I else? I work for myself at home right now. Do you have a man, girl? No, I do not have a man right at this moment. I will. Oh. <laughs> are you looking for one? I'm not looking for one, but one comes along, you know? It is what it is. <laughs> She's waiting for one to pop on her lap. <laughs> okay, so. Pretty much. So. <laughs> So Nadia, the hairstylist, is going to talk to us about look Muslim hijabis keeping themselves up, right? Right. So what do you have to say about a Muslim woman who just keeps her hair in a ponytail and then throws a scarf on and keeps on going? Well, I mean, if you want your hair to receive back, you know, then go by all means wear your ponytail. But if you want under your scarf your hair to look nice and healthy, you should keep your hair done, you know, at least... Take care of yourself once a month, especially when you take off your scarf and you're at home for yourself to look in the mirror. And, you know, that's just how I see it. So, okay, so let's let's say you have natural hair, shoulder length, and your man comes home every day and expects you to have your hair done. What's it? And you have three kids at home. What's it? Easy, low maintenance. Take off my scarf, hook my hair up Honey. in 30 minutes for your man. Honey, you, if you have natural, pretty curly hair. Okay, what if you have natural it, kinky hair? So what? Go in the bathroom, wet it, get some leave-in conditioner, do a braid, from right, go on right here real quick, put a uh, bobby pin, clip the thing, fluff the hair out, put on some cute lips, and honey, your man, he'll be like, oh, okay, boo, whatever. But, you know, depending on your texture, you may need to do more. So my thing is, if your hair is more coarse, I would personally, you know, do like put it all the way in a bun, a bun, get a cute little headband scarf maybe and fluff it out or, you know, sometimes wear bone straight or whatever or just. How long know, would it, but bone straight takes time. Exactly. But that's just depends on you. Okay. So if you have relaxed hair, shoulder length, what could you do to make your hair look nice when your man coming home in 10 minutes? In 10 minutes? Uh, 30 minutes. 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Well, if it's relaxed and it's straight, I mean, you could hurry up and throw some curl, curls in it real quick. Or, what kind of you curls? Know, get the curling iron. Oh. Hurry up, wrap the, your hair around the curling iron. Do some cute curls real quick. Or, shoot, you relax. It just depends on your man. Like, you know, he might get tired of you look wearing your hair straight all the time. So you might need to switch it up every now and then, you know. Look. Okay, so okay, so it just really depends on who you're dealing with. You got a picky man, uh, then you might need to switch it up. Or if you got a man that just really don't care so much about your hair like that, but you, it's you, you want to make sure he sees a different look. Then personally, yeah, then you need to switch it up here and there. Okay, so for natural hair, how often should somebody straighten their hair without breaking it off? How often can they? Well, I. If you really do not, you don't want to lose the curl pattern or breakage, you definitely need to do it like once a month or every other month so that your curl won't, you won't lose no curl pattern. Personally, most of the time when you straighten your hair every two weeks, it does loosen. Anytime you use a chemical, which a flat iron is basically considered a chemical. So, you know, you should definitely do it, uh, every other month or once a month if you're if you're about the protective style okay low just give us a quick low maintenance natural hair woman how to keep her hair what should she do to maintain her hair just um, daily routine daily routine i would say once a week you need to use you know have a good shampoo and moisturizing conditioner sulfate free um if you're natural you definitely need to use some kind of oil because or a leave-in conditioner because you know then you have dry hair um if you're about wearing it poofy or ponytailed or braid some kind of braid or twist outlook then um you know do your little twist outs or your um, doodle knots or your braids you like they call it the goddess braids you can even do like the goddess braids coming around meeting or you know um Honey, you know, just something simple and cute like that, you know. Okay. Okay. So, 
What about you? How do you wear your hair? Oh, Nadia is a different type of person. I wear my hair a lot of ways. Uh, it just depends on the mood I am. Sometimes I do my braids. Sometimes I might even wear extensions. I might wear my real hair bone straight, or I might decide to wear my natural hair in a ponytail. Like it just depends on the mood I'm in. I might do a bob. Like I just, you just gotta take me as I am. I just switch up here and there depending on how I feel. What kind of man are you looking for? <laughs> I thought we was talking about hair. We are. <laughs> this has everything to do with hair. Okay. Um, what, what type of man do I like, you said? Yeah. I like a man that uh, is ambitious. Ambitious, I can't talk. Um, that has goals and that is good to look at. And... Definitely. Idris Alba good to look at or you said who? Idris Alba oh. good to look at or Boris Koja. Idris Elba, that's a man. Um definitely a manly man that knows how to fix things, you know, work with his hands, definitely like cars and just a handy man and not scared to do anything. What I if he's a businessman? Of... Like he's more, you know, corporate than he is construction. <laughs> uh that's what's Putting food on the table, then he'll be a businessman, you know. But we're going to have to find, you're going to have to find somebody to do the handy dandy work. <laughs> Just saying. But um, more, I'm looking more for, you know, I'm not really looking, but I like more like the type of guy that has goals and basically can have a, a good conversation and we we can talk as being business and friends like i we can literally get along you know have a full conversation and it can go hours and hours or whatever but you know just definitely you gotta love god and you know a lot you definitely gotta know something you know okay i'm finished with you i'm done with you too <laughs> bye get that light out my eyes <laughs>